I found this deal online. It's called the VMU Backup CD uh, for Sega Dreamcast. Uh, burn this guy. Backup CD. It's not Memorex. That's Sega. Uh, it's a self boot. Let's pop this in. Uh, the VMU Backup CD is supposed to have a whole lot of saves that you could save uh, to various VMUs and then boot it up and uh, you could uh, load your game from whatever save file this thing's got on it. Supposedly has a whole bunch of games. Produced and the license, I don't think that's produced by Sega. There we go. VMU Backup CD. This has a whole lot of stuff on it. It's actually got a lot of games. That's interesting. Game Shark. It's got saves for a Game Shark. Um, so press A. It goes to the top right and you can select stuff. You know, B goes back to the main menu. A Game Shark. Game Shark VMU icon. Let's try that. A. Um, okay, I got the blue guy plugged into the first slot. That one plugged in the second. Let's try, I don't know, let's try the first one. Two blocks copied to VMU. Alright, we'll still get the VMU icon right here. So let's open this up. See if I can load the VMU icon onto the memory card itself. File. Oh, yeah, I did it. Right there. That's pretty cool. Maybe that's... That might have been... Oh yeah, that's, that's today's date. 2036. Let's see what else this thing does. Well, celebration. I'm gonna crack open a beer. That's something to work. Minesweeper. Uh, let's see what Pac Man looks like. Oh, it actually. Oh, bizarre. Um, on the VMU, it says VMU Mini Pac Man. I said something just a second ago about a emulator um, being emulated. You got top scores. This is interesting. I remember uh, back in the day, a lot of games, well, not a lot of games, but the games that had it, you could <clears throat> um, save various mini games to your VMU. And as long as you had the, uh, the you, as long as you had batteries that were um, still had a charge in them, they took uh, 2032s, I think, um, which are basically the, they have in laptops and, uh, and desktops to keep the uh, keep the date and the time. Um, but they had them in these things. I think it took two, and they, they were great fun to carry around. Um, way back in the day before everybody had cell phones, you play little mini games on them. But the problem was that the the battery wore out pretty quick. You probably had, she had maybe four hours on these things, and then it'd be done. So I remember doing playing stuff like this on the VMUs. Like that. Oh wow, that is not any version of Pac-Man that I know. This is horrid. I mean, on a little screen, on a very small screen like, like this. Oh, it, it is on there. You can tell it's mimicking. Oh, okay. The sound on. It just has a. Uh, sounds like generic background music. If you can tell, it's mimicking what I'm doing on the TV. It's interesting. X. So X goes back to the main menu. Paper, Scott. Three mini games from Soul Calibur. Namco. It's actually mimicking the little screen, so that's cool. 
You usually just play it on your on your TV. The legend. Let's see what we got. Press A plus B. A plus B it is. Ah, game. Voldo Panic. So caliber word scramble. Cannon Dark. Cannon Dare? Cannon Darb. I have <laughs> no idea what that says. Uh, Voldo Panic. Let's do that. Start game. I don't know what is going on. That's the guy looks. He walks like Voldo. Um. Wow. This is bizarre. I see tries to bounce him to the right. I've lost interest in this game. Alright, so those are some of the VMU mini games, it looks like. Looks like there's a bunch of homebrew stuff on here. That's cool that somebody, whoever made this, or put this together and included a bunch of stuff on there. Like homebrew, whatnot. Alright, B, let's go back there. Um, no, oh, actually, replay too. Well, I've got Hydro Thunder I can fire up, so let's see. If that is on here. And you can go, you can go up and down, scroll through everything, or you can put, press L and R, and that actually jumps pages. Hydro Thunder. Um, everything unlocked. I have all stages and bonus stages unlocked, and boats unlocked, blah, blah, blah. Levels beaten. Everything unlocked. Let's try that. I'll do not enough free space. Let's do it to second controller. I think that did it. Well, apparently it was already on there. No one. All right, let's pop this out. Pop in some Hydro Thunder. And see if the save actually took. I do not have the time these days to go through any game and unlock everything, so if Hydro Thunder, everything being unlocked is on there, I'm going to be, well, I won't be impressed. I mean, I'm impressed that somebody did this, but I mean, so, somebody got it to boot. I got the selection working and saving to VMU, so that's going to be great if the saves actually work, because that's the whole point of the disc. Anyway, boop -ba -doop -ba -doo. Hydro Thunder. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, come on. Unfit. Who else did I do this? All right. It's not what I want. I uh, know. I want to look at the... Oh, that's weird. You can't press up. You actually got to press... You got to press right. It's as if the whole thing was a wheel. I set that up very well. He's press left and it keeps going down well I guess you would no memories what the hell it's right there how is that there we go I popped it out I guess Nope, never mind. It's not reading anything. Oh yeah, I saved it to the second, <laughs> second controller. That is bizarre. All right, I'm gonna pop this one out. Oh. I got no way to tell. That sucks. It's not reading my VMU at all. Well, let's just boot the damn thing up with the lid open. My Hail Sega. File. Where's that one? Crazy dice. Ah, come on. Hydro Thunder. 2064, apparently, we're 
And we're flying through time. Yeah, I guess that was today. Eight blocks. 264. Let's see what the time is in the system. 1998. So I don't know. It appears to work, but that's a little odd. The uh, VMU is showing up. Showing up in the Dreamcast operating system, but as far as Hydro Thunder itself, it's not showing up at all. I don't know why that would be, but apparently, well, like, yeah, the disc seems to work pretty well. So if you want this thing, uh, just search VMU Backup CD. This is the only thing that pops up. Um, you have to burn it with Image Burn. It's a self boot. Um, you, if you have Image Burn already, or you install it fresh, you might have to get a couple. Well, I think it's three other files, and you have to drop them into the Image Burn folder. And if you have a 64-bit operating system, which pretty much everybody does now, um, you got to drop it. It's still Program Files uh, x86, uh, then Image Burn, I think. You just drop them in there. I will try to include a link to that. I'm not going to include a link to the uh, VMU backup CD because when you search that in Google that's the only thing that's going to show up. You can go right to it. <coughs> <coughs> Shit, excuse me. I'm getting over the flu. <coughs> ah, damn. But I will include a link uh, to those three files that you need to get to put in the image burn folder to be able to burn this this CD. I've never encountered this with another with another uh, Dreamcast disc that I tried to burn. Usually they just pop right up and I burn this at 2x, um, burn it at a low speed, and I never you never really seem to have problems. At least I don't. I see a Dream Passport on there. This is nuts. So this is actually a pretty handy. Excuse me, pretty handy program with a bunch of saves on here. I like this a lot. Alright, well there you have it. I'll include the links for for those uh, files that you need to burn it, like I said. But, I mean, if you're any sort of fan of the Dreamcast or you want random saves and you don't have anything to get them from your computer to the VMU itself, I mean, these are pretty set in stone. They don't get updated. It's on a disc that was made years ago. But there's a lot of stuff on here if you want to just mess about with it.